Once you've unzipped PJ Bench for Premiere Pro, there's a couple of things you need to do before you can actually run the benchmark. First of all, you need to install the plugin, and that is in this plugin install folder. If you're on Windows, you can just run the Windows install benchmark file. But if you are on Mac OS, there is not a standalone installer right now. In this install instructions, there is a link to the AE Scripts ZXP installer, which is what we would recommend using to install or uninstall scripts on Mac OS. With the plugin installed, you can go back to the main benchmark folder. Now, it's worth noting that the normal benchmark download only includes the standard media. If you want to run the extended test, you will need to download the extended test media. When you have that downloaded, you just need to go into the zip and extract it into the main benchmark folder. At this point, you can open the benchmark project file. The benchmark panel should open by itself, but if it does not, you can go to Window, Extensions, and make sure Puget Bench for Premiere Pro is loaded. There are a few more things you want to double check before you actually run any of the benchmarks. On Windows, you just need to make sure that the program window is in this area so that the mouse can click right about here and be able to change things like the playback resolution. On Mac OS, there is a number of security settings you need to change, and they're all outlined here in this gray box. With those things double checked, you can come over to the benchmark panel and either run any of the individual tests or one of the presets. There'll be a quick pop-up just telling you about how long it's going to take to run, and then you can wait for the benchmark to complete. Once the benchmark is done running, you'll get this score screen that gives you individual results in FPS as well as score, and then the overall scores depending on whether it's the standard or extended test. It also gives you system information at the bottom, like what CPU, GPU, and RAM you are using. A screenshot of this page is saved in the Puget Bench folder for you to be able to share.